hi guys so welcome back to my channel in today's video i have a weekly makeup basket for you it is for from the last two weeks and some of the products are in this so if you want to see what kind of products i have used lately then just please keep on watching so first i'm going to start out with two base products i've been trying to use the revolution foundation stick in f1 um, I don't like this at all, but I will try to use that on days that I'm home. And then I've used the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in Fair Rose. I used this under my eyes, not today though. Um, I do like this, it's really pale. Uh, then for powders, I've been using my Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free Corrector powder under my eyes and also the Revlon Color Stay pressed powder in translucent um, just because I want to pan this or I want to um, use this up and then I've used my Cover FX um, matte setting powder in light uh, I have that much left and I want to use that up and uh, then I have a lot of highlights for you but let me start out with Bronzers, yeah, bronzers, I have one face palette that I absolutely love that I've been using, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4, there you can see me, hello, it looks like this, I've mainly used these two shades, this is the bronzer shade and I mix those, but I've also been using that blush. I think this is really amazing. I love Hourglass Formula, uh, so I can really recommend that. Uh, then I have two bronzers that I would love to hit pan in. One is the Too Faced um, Milk Chocolate Soleil that I've had for many years. So I'm going to keep that out. And also the Soap and Glory Solar Powder that I've also had for a really long time. But I see a real dent in this, so I'm keeping that out as well. And then I took out my Fenty Beauty in the Sun Bronzer. Just because it's per the perfect shade now for summer and it's matte. For blushes. Oh, sorry, I missed one thing. Uh, the Nip and Fab. Uh, the Nip and Fab Contour Stick. I've been using every day and I will keep on using that every day then for blushes I have this flower beauty blush bomb in bitten which is a dark vampy folly color um, I used this once I do really love the formula of this I think I will keep this out just because I only used it once then I have the Kix Beauty Fashionista Baked Blusher. It looks like this. Um, I have used this a lot actually. There used to be a bigger dome, but now it's more flat. Really happy about that. It's a really good baked blusher. Then I took out the Beauty UK Baked Blush in box number two, I think. It looks like this and like that. Also a really good blush. And then I fell in love with a brush and I'm a brush, no. I fell in love with a blush that I'm wearing today. This is the Milani Coralina Baked Powder Blush. It is absolutely gorgeous. At least I think so. Uh, but it's going back down in my drawer now. I need to <laughs> pick something else out. Um, but yeah, blush is a thing that I can alternate every day just because I love blush so much, but you know that already. Shall we move on to the highlights? I have been using all of my Nabla skin glazing powders, so I have Ozone, which I'm wearing today. And I have Privilege, which I'm wearing underneath Ozone today. It's a more peachy color. 
Then I've used adults only as a blush the last weeks. Love it. Going to keep that out. Also going to keep the awesome one. And then I have the shade Truth, which is a more pinky shade. Um, I think I will keep this out as a blush as well because I have barely used this. Um, then I took out the Ofra highlighter in Pillow Chalk, which is a pink. Um, I haven't swatched any, but I will swatch this. It's beaming. Yeah, really, really beaming. Uh, but really, really pretty. And then I took out the Super Shock, Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in Flexitarian from Colourpop. Um, just because I felt that this had barely been used. And there you have that. I absolutely adore this. Um, it's a really good <coughs> highlighter. And then I've also been using my Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter in Ice. Uh, I used these two on my face mixed together and this on my inner corners for some looks that I've did that I've done <laughs> this last couple of weeks. And uh, I'm going to mention one eyeshadow palette. And <laughs> it's just because I took this out because I wanted to use something that used to be one of my favorites and that is well loved and well used on my channel. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Mine is broken. But here is how this looks. As you can see, I've hit pan on that shade. So I did a look with that shade, that shade and... That shade, I think. So it was a neutral look. Brown, purple. Um, I do love this palette, although it's really old and neutral. Uh, I haven't been uh, that interesting in interested in buying any more of the chocolate bar palettes, but this I really love. It's a classic in my collection. Uh, <clears throat> then for my lips, I've been using not that one. Though. Okay, I have one in my purse, but I can show you the other one. The NYX Candy Slick Glowy Lip Color. This is in Cherry Cola. I have used this once or twice. But the one I've been using most is Single Serving. It's a more ready color. Um, and then I've had the uh, S'more Please as well from the same line. And then I've also been using the NYX Powder Puff Lippy in Moody. Uh, this is really good. It's matte, but it stays on uh, really good on the on on the lips. You just press some product out on the applicator, and there's how that looks. It's a kind of a nice looking fall color, I would say. I'm just going to put that back. So those are kind of the makeup items that I've been using. I've also been trying to use some eyeliners. So I have the Makeup Store Dark Chocolate, which is brown. <coughs> I have the NYX Faux White in Mint Cream, which is a mint cream. Then, uh, as my eyeliner, I've been actually using the Lotte London AM to PM pencils in Velvet and Mermaid. Uh, the Velvet is a matte uh, purple. And the mermaid is a matte uh, blue one. So those two I've actually been using as an eyeliner. And then on my waterline I've also been using the H&M Color Essence Eye Pencil in Great Grey. Which is, as it sounds, just a grey color. <coughs> I feel really happy that I've <coughs> gone back a bit to my pencil eyeliners. Because I have so many and... They also need to be loved. Um, so I'm really happy about that. And I'm really happy about what kind of makeup I will be using this week and maybe next week. Um, if you like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And until I make another video, you guys, please take care. Bye.